Jew who hasn't experienced the promise of biblically ordained redemption. Or should you? Surely the Jew of Zechariah 8 verse 23 must be one who can lead others to redemption and not Torah study alone. Because Torah study alone is nothing more than Jewish Gnosticism, the seeking of knowledge. Remember the parable of the fig tree, and we'll finish up here. In Matthew chapter 21, verse 20. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 32. You see, the Ashkenazi Khazars are trying to run the state of Israel. They're putting forth leaves, yet not producing the fruits of the kingdom, because the only way they can do that is by acknowledging the rightful heirs, the Fehalim, the Jewish farmers, the true Jewish farmers, who then will link themselves with the legal heir, Joseph. Many of the Fehalim, or so-called Palestinians, are really Jewish believers in Yahusha, the so-called Palestinian Christians. And they do not want you to link arms with them and inherit the land. You see, it's time for the Khazars to repent and to allow the real Judah to stand up and claim their land, receive Moshiach and bear fruit. Doesn't this sound just so topsy-turvy? Doesn't it? Could it be more topsy-turvy? It's the biggest enslavement program of the 20th century that's still spewing its poison in the 21st century. Do you know how many Palestinian Christians love Yahusha and they're not Palestinians, they're the Jewish farmers? Do you know how many Palestinians are waking up to Hamas, waking up to the PLO, waking up to the horrors of Islam and accepting Yahusha as Messiah and being persecuted, that's not in the news because it's in their heart. Yet in the heart of the Khazars is that Jesus was boiled in hot excrement, that Jesus' mother was a whore and whored around with carpenters It's deceitfully wicked above all things. And so misguided that believers are led into this trap. I see videos posted celebrating the death of Palestinians. I see believers posting these things on Facebook like it's good. When in reality, within the last couple of weeks, you just saw an IDF soldier execute a Palestinian that was lying on the ground, already injured, literally execute in front of the battalion. We live in a very twisted world. What happened in 1948, going back to the parable of the fig tree, is the fig tree was manufactured a genetic hybrid manufactured by Theodore Herzl. Oh, it may have brought forth what looked like leaves for the mainstream non-believers or the mainstream consumption Christianity. But to those of us that investigate through the word, we can see that it is about to be cut down if it continues to remain barren of fruit. In Luca chapter 19 verse 14 and Luke chapter 19 verse 28. If a country, listen, if a country and its citizens refuse to let Yahusha reign over them, then this is what our Messiah says. Those who don't want me to reign over them, slay them before me. Who's your king? Who's your Mashiach? This is sharper than a two-edged sword. And when you read it, it will pierce you to the very core 
And you'll have to set your politics aside. You'll have to set your mammon aside. And you'll have to set your agenda aside. And you'll have to decide whether to stand on the word of Yahuwah or stand on the vain visions and tyranny of people like David Ben-Gurion, Theodore Herzl, and what is being put forth by this rotten tree of Etz Benai Yosef. Do we understand the words of Moshiach in relation to the citizens of the state of Israel today? And at this point, I'd like to conclude because I believe we can safely answer questions four with a resounding no. Are we supposed to complete the work of secular Bolshevik Jews? No. And finally, the fifth question, what did our careful examination of history, the history of Zionism reveal? Is Etz Benai Yosef actually pushing sacred history in place of historical truth? I don't like sacred history. You see, sacred history is idolatry. It's a shrine. And that is what this world pushes. Sacred history. Until somebody comes up with historical truth. D. Brown came up with historical truth and challenged the sacred history of the Native American history that was being taught in public schools in the 70s and came up that, with that book, Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee. You see, that was historical truth that challenged sacred history. And this today is historical truth that is challenging the sacred history that is being put forth by these Hebraic, Messianic, and Christian Zionist organizations that ultimately put you in bed with the Khazars, the synagogue of Satan. I believe that we truly have to make a decision because this is 2016, 2017, and... In a political and religious climate that is exploding, you need to know where you stand. You need to know where you stand. I do not stand with sacred history. I stand with historical truth. It's Benai Yosef is pushing sacred history and its agenda is exposed and it collapses under the weight of this historical truth. Questions, comments? I'm so blessed that we have the discernment and the eyes to see. I pray that we have the ears to shamar here.